I think I think I've always had political uh, ambitions in uh, you know ever since I was in a little girl in primary school. Immediately I finished uh, high school. That is when I went into journalism. And you know, as a journalist, I, I could actually write a lot of stories, human interest stories, and um, make news, and the people could read my stories. But at the end of the day, something kept telling me, what is it that you can do beyond just writing stories for people to read? And, uh, and, and that is how I, I began to see a situation where I wanted to see, to change how things run. Uh, in this country. I got involved working with women's rights organizations. And so uh, that was a period when Kenya was basically clamoring for a new constitution and I got in there at the right time. When I got into parliament, funny enough, I got into a road accident. I suffered a road accident. I served my, my term in parliament as a disabled member, a woman member of parliament uh, in Kenya, you know, trying to juggle and understand my disability. And so I have carried the disability aspect of me as a woman with a disability, as a member of parliament with disability, and it has given me an opportunity to learn about the world of disability. I do ascribe to the liberal values. For me, as a liberal democrat, I do believe that we want, I want to basically see democratic spaces opening up. You know, people must, you know, speak freedom of speech, freedom to exercise what you believe in, freedom of worship, freedom of, you know, we, we, we must be able to to, 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 to exercise what you feel as a human being. This is how I feel I need to live my life. This is how I need to articulate my issues. In Africa, the continent of Africa has been seeing uh, quite a lot of uh, changes. <laughs> now leaders are changing, the democratic spaces are also opening up. We must see a culture of leaders in Africa that come on board that have the best interests of their people at heart. You see, that is the world I want to see. That is the Africa for me I want to see. <laughs> so that we move together and we develop our continent, the beautiful continent of Africa. Young girls who want to get into, into, into politics, one thing I want to advise young girls is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because you can do it. Young girls must just get out there and they, they, they do not have to be, to be pulled back by their cultural um, barriers. Young girls also must, must, must subscribe and try so much to get in touch with their grassroots. They must know their communities. They must know their origins. They must know the problems that are affecting their people. You know, you, you cannot seek to be a leader when you don't know the, the problems of your people. They must strive to understand their challenges, how to articulate them, how to demand them. You know, all these things.